Hey, parents. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Seth. This is Elizabeth Sauter, and this is an amazing human being who is one of our speakers on TIFOS this year. And what I want to start off with right away, and we'll talk a little bit about your background in a moment, but when you have a parent who comes to you and says, Elizabeth, I keep hearing about this executive function thing, what the heck is executive function? How do you respond to that? Oh, as a speech pathologist, I, you know, this was a new topic to me I, and I've learned so much from the psychologists and other speech therapists, especially Sarah Ward, who I've worked so closely with over the years. And so what I, and also too, I have two kids with ADHD, so I've learned a lot about it. So what I look at it as, as the ability to um, initiate and simulate, execute a task based on the future sketch. So that's where the working memory comes into place, holding information in your mind, that visual image and hindsight from past to be able to execute something right now. And if the parent was looking at you like, huh? Can you say that in uh, terms okay, that are I a will, little easier for me to? I will say this is where I take from Sarah Ward. So I got to give her credit. It's that mental whiteboard that you have in your head. So it's that visualization, that future sketch to be able to execute a task. So you have an image of what you need to do, make dinner. You picture that and you're thinking, oh, I hope we have rice. So it's like the things on your whiteboard in your brain that you're holding to be able to execute. And this year on TIFOS, the Executive Function Online Summit, um, what are you going to be teaching us about? I always ask what's, or this year, my question is like, what's one of the most important things you can teach parents that if they implement it, it will help make the entire year easier for their kiddo and support their executive function. What are we going to learn from you? Something that is really important to me, and I've been learning a lot about myself because I needed to unlearn, is how to nurture neurodiversity. And we're going to be talking a lot about the mindset of um, undoing our negative biases and focusing on strengths. All right. And then I'm going to share right here. This is your site. So you can learn more about Elizabeth at elizabethsauter.com and on Instagram here. So tell us a little bit about who you are, your background, or why you do the work you do, the hats you wear, things like that. I am a speech pathologist by trade, but I call myself more of a social cognitive specialist, social emotional coach, because my passion is social emotional learning. And I've always been interested in supporting autistic people. And I have two kids with ADHD. And there's so much to navigate through our world with social emotional learning. And I, uh, being a parent myself, I realize how much there is on our plate and how much we can do in our natural environments. So I have a book with activities and written some um a journal and a coloring book and some children's books on really focusing on how we can sprinkle in social emotional learning to the things we're already doing so it doesn't feel like so much of an add on to our busy lives but an add into what we're already doing thanks so much elizabeth here we go i want to again say this is elizabeth site elizabethsauter.com on instagram we are here at TIFOS, the Executive Function Online Summit 24, year six. If you haven't registered, pop your email in there, register, share it with somebody. If you like what we're doing here, check out the speakers here. You can look at their bios by clicking there. And we have a, an all access pass. That is a phenomenal resource for you to be able to help your kiddo uh, in so many ways. Check that out. Thank you, parents, for being here. See you soon at TIFOS. Thanks, Elizabeth. Thank you.